Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in information theory and coding. In today's tutorial we'll talk about HDB3 which is a kind of a line coding technique but it is based upon uh, AMI. Now the reason why we use HDB3 and how is it different from AMI um, we're going to discuss all that in this tutorial. Before uh, we start this tutorial, it is essential that you understand what is alternate mark inversion line coding technique. So in AMI, a zero is represented using a zero volt and a one is represented um, using a bipolar alternating voltage so a one will toggle from plus V naught to minus V naught for every alternate uh, appearance so what that means is that if we have a number of zeros appearing consecutively uh, in a code it will show a zero volt for a long time that will create an impression of a DC voltage for the receiver thereby um, making a lot of confusion and detection will be tougher synchronization will be tougher so in order to eliminate that we made changes to AMI and the first kind of technique that we use is HDB3 which stands for high density bipolar of order 3 where uh, if we see four zeros uh, consecutively we are going to change them to uh, to some scheme which I'm going to discuss in this video so that the receiver may understand that this is not a DC uh, happening by any chance and uh, it is four zeros and synchronization becomes easier and better so that being said um, we'll talk about this HDB3 scheme now if you look at this code in this code you have 0 1 1 and then four zeros are occurring simultaneously so and then we have 101 and a lot of zeros occurring and so on and so forth so if we were to start drawing this uh, line code with AMI this zero is represented using a zero voltage and one uh, is represented using plus V naught and minus V naught so we'll start our first one with plus V and our next one will go to minus V it'll invert or alternate its mark that is why the name is AMI now what happens is we have four zeros now we need to make a decision uh, as to how we need to represent it so in HDB3 you need to remember this formula now is 0 0 0 0 4 zeros in a line code will be altered to either 0 0 0 V or B 0 0 0 V depending upon how many number of ones were there uh, before you started to encode this now I'll tell you with this example so we we are starting to encode these four zeros we are wishing to encode these four zeros so we'll see how many number of ones were preceding uh, this this case we had two number of ones so for 2 is even so for even we need to convert this 0000, 0, 0, 0 into B000V 0, 0, 0, so now what is B00V? Zero, zero, v? v stands for
B is a violation and B is a normal bipolar transition. So we'll consider this first zero to transition from uh, the previous one in a normal manner as it would have done in AMI. So this is a normal bipolar transition. This is a violation transition. So uh, if we were to draw uh, a violation of this one, it would have been the same negative V voltage. And if we were to draw a normal bipolar transition, it would go into a positive V voltage. Now the number of ones here are even. So we have one, two. So we'll follow this. The first zero is replaced by B, which is a normal transition. So I'll take it to plus V. Then we use zero, zero. And then a violation. Now please understand, we we need to consider this pulse as the previous pulse and the violation of this pulse will be a plus V again. Had it transitioned normally, according to the rules of alternate mark inversion, it, it should have gone down. But because this is a violation and this is a normal transition alternating from its previous value, so this becomes a B and this becomes a V as in van and okay now we understand that we have a one here which will transition normally bipolar transition so it goes into a negative territory and a zero is represented by a zero and a one again will be represented by an alternating mark going into plus v now we need to make a decision on these four all right and these four zeros have two preceding ones now please understand we do not need to consider all the ones appearing uh, in the code we need to consider the number of ones that appeared before this case and after the previous encoding that we did so again this is a case of even so the first zero will be a normal bipolar transition then we have two zeros and then a violation so this is b and this is v then we need to do it again for these four zeros again because the number of ones is zero so we are using even case again so this will go bipolar inverting its mark going into positive v these will go zeros and again a violation and now these two will not constitute a case for uh, encoding because we need at least four zeros to encode so these will not be encoded these will be represented using a normal zero in the AMI scheme then a one will alternate its mark as usual zero will go as usual with zero volt next one will alternate its mark next one will alternate its mark then we have again four zeros now please understand these four zeros have previously three ones one two and three so this becomes a case of odd so for odd these three zeros will be represented using zeros and the last zero will be a violation so a violation is represented by the same uh, polarity that we used in the previous uh, voltage level for one so this is a violation and then this one will be marked by an alternate voltage this one again 
marked by an alternate voltage and zero by a zero and a one by an alternating voltage. In this way, uh, as you have seen that the consecutive zeros are, are being taken care of and we, we've encoded uh, these four zeros by B00 V these four zeros with again a B00 V this is again encoded using B00 V and this one is encoded using 0 0 0 V so in this in entire code four encodings have been done out of which three were the cases for even number of ones preceding them and one was a case where an odd number of ones was preceding before the encoding started so I hope this technique uh, this is also known as, as a scrambling technique where um, the timing extraction is taken care of we do not send zeros consecutively so as to eliminate the impression of a DC voltage uh, flowing through the code so I hope this tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye